Hello everyone and welcome to the Missouri School Boards Association's board report for the month of March. We thank you for the opportunity to share some news and information during a few minutes of your board meeting. We begin with the state budget and its impact on schools. As you saw in the interview with Governor Nixon in last month's board report, he's proposing an $18 million increase in the foundation formula for the fiscal year beginning July 1st. But that's far short of the money needed to fully fund the phase-in of the new formula for the coming year. Senate President Pro Tem Charlie Shields of St. Joseph told an audience gathered for MSBA's legislative forum in Jefferson City, the state should not make short-term decisions that will reduce our ability to compete in the long run. One of those decisions is fully funding the foundation formula. Uh, that is a very robust, um, that is a very robust discussion in the state capitol and I will tell you that as the author of the foundation formula, um, I think the legislature made a commitment to fully funding that formula. We're going to fully fund the phase into that formula. We said we're going to do it over seven years. And I think we have to hold to that commitment. What that means, though, is we have to find $87 million somewhere in the budget uh, out of other areas to plow back into uh, the foundation formula. But State Budget Director Linda Lubring tells MSBA fully funding the formula will be very difficult given the state's dismal revenue outlook. Next fiscal year, the revenue situation is looking even uh, bleaker than this year. Uh, we had hoped for some rebound this summer in jobs. Uh, that's looking less likely at the national level, and of course that affects Missouri as well. So we are actually um, looking at additional reductions uh, from where we were before. Uh, any type of increase just doesn't seem feasible at this point. Although I know there's a lot of sentiment for fully funding the formula in this revenue situation, it just doesn't seem doable. It also remains to be seen how the General Assembly will fund other programs affecting schools such as transportation, career ladder, and parents as teachers. And Lubring says the following fiscal year will be even more difficult. Fiscal year uh, 12, which is the next one we'll be working on, the next budget, um, is going to be even more challenging than fiscal year 11 uh, for one simple reason. The fiscal year 11 budget relies on over a billion dollars worth of federal stabilization money for ongoing programs. That money is going to go away. We have a structural imbalance in our budget that we, the state of Missouri, have to deal with. We have more spending happening than we have revenue to support. So even if there is some growth in fiscal year 12, which we all anticipate revenues will grow at least a little, it's not going to be sufficient to make up for that billion dollar loss of federal stabilization money. The discussions on state funding for schools will continue during the next few weeks in the General Assembly. You can keep up on the progress of the state budget and other issues that could have an impact on your school district through MSBA's Legislative Voice electronic newsletter sent to members every Friday. MSBA, along with the Missouri Association of School Administrators and the Missouri Association of School Business Officials, is producing a free webcast to help you with the budget challenges you're facing. It's called Weathering the Storm and will feature interviews with State Budget Director Lubring, legal advice related to budget reductions, and insight from school board members and administrators on how they are handling the budget reduction process. Weathering the Storm will be posted on the MSBA website by March 17th. Board members and administrators need to keep collective bargaining negotiations focused on student achievement issues. That's according to Ron Wilson, the executive director of the North American Association of Educational Negotiators. Wilson spoke at MSBA's Labor Relations Pre-Forum last month in Jefferson City. He says preparation is the key to successful negotiations and that boards and administrators need to come to the bargaining table with an open mind, but not an empty mind. He stressed that school boards in Missouri are in a unique position to learn from mistakes made in other states, since collective bargaining is relatively new to our state. If you have questions on collective bargaining issues, please call MSBA's Employment and Labor Relations Department, and we'll be glad to assist you. Now's the time to register for the MSBA Spring Regional Meeting in your area of the state. Those meetings will be conducted throughout April and May. There will be four topics covered at the meetings this year. Budgeting issues, pay for performance, teacher, staff, and superintendent evaluations, and the impact of race to the top. 
Dates and locations are posted on the MSBA website along with registration information. And don't forget to appoint your delegate to MSBA after the April school board elections. MSBA delegates serve an important communication role between the association and your local board and also represent your board at the delegate assemblies where positions on legislative issues are determined. Start thinking now about the person on your board you would like to appoint as the MSBA delegate. That's it for this month's edition of the MSBA Board Report. Thanks for allowing us to have some time at your board meeting, and so long from Columbia.